Hello everyone and welcome back to today's YouTube video. Today we will be unboxing all of the minifigures from the new Series 26 Lego minifigure lineup. <laughs> This is series 26 with 12 minifigures to collect, and this is all within the new and revised uh, space collection theme. So something really cool about all of these minifigures is that we used uh, an app from the App Store to scan all of these QR codes at the bottom of these boxes uh, to make sure that we got all 12 unique and we didn't get any duplicates. We are about to test that theory though because we have not opened these for ourselves. So we'll see how accurate it actually is. Here's box one. Well, I'm already stuck. <laughs> okay, so our first one here is this blue space ranger. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I don't know if you can see it, but on the little plate that they stand on, uh, with the little studs there's it's galaxy themed so that's really cool i think um if you can see that that's really neat and that will definitely set these uh figures apart uh so this is actually one that i was really excited to get because i really like this uh little space penguin kind of looking guy um very cute so anyways that's it for box uh, one and i really love this little penguin guy very cute now moving on to box number two So it looks like in this set we have my third choice. So get ready for this one. Now, would you look at that? Um, again, same kind of space printed uh, tile piece here at the bottom. I think this is so cool because of all the little, I don't even know what you call these little like cyborg. They're like the trophy elements, but they're in the lime green space color. And there's so many of them. They're like little symbiotes or something. So this is an awesome one too. This was my third pick uh, that I was most excited for. So we're moving on to box number three here. I got my handy dandy target bag full of all of the minifigures we hope are in there. So, we got our two. What are we gonna get? Opening box number three now. Three, two, one! Ooh, this space tile print is pretty cool. I think we got some sort of, like, robot guy? He's like a robot chef. He's got like robotic legs. That's a cool leg piece that I've never seen before. Or he's got print on the front and the back of his head. The back looks like an eject button. Don't eject his brain. I don't think he'll perform very good. Got some like gold arms or gold hands and his arms are printed gray. Wow, that's a pretty cool piece. I like that. It's got a little cassette tape on his back. And then he's like a little chef. He's got some like green bulby head. I don't know. I don't think it's a helmet, like lumped in goo. And then he's cooking up some like whipped cream or something. I don't know. He's definitely a chef. That's for sure. Yeah. So he's just like whipping it up in the kitchen. Look at this guy. He's pretty cool. I really like that. That's a cool, cool minifigure. Time for number four. It's uh like razor saw man. So this guy. He looks like a racer. I'm not entirely sure what he is. He's like a yeah, he's definitely like a racer. Wow. Look at that. He's got print on the side of his legs. It's pretty cool. Let's see. How else does this guy go together? Okay. He's got like a robotic arm. Like this is pretty cool. I don't know what this guy is, but he's pretty cool. Like look at him. He's got like a whole space pack and like a shooter gun and I don't know what else, but he's pretty cool. I like this one. And he's got leg print. So far, I really like these. All right, we are moving on to bag five and six, but um, I don't know where they are. They're boxes now. What'd I say? Bags. Oh yeah, sorry. These are so much more environmentally friendly and say what you want. I was really a professional at deciphering minifigures based upon the shapes in the bags. Like Ward has it, I was the best out there. So it was kind of an adjustment when they switched to boxes, but I do like that it is a lot better for the environment. Let's open box number five. This one is the purple, this is Orion. 
It is pretty cool. I'm actually excited to put this one together. Thank you. Bye. This one's like a purple translucent, shiny translucent, and he's got some silver, silver torso piece. Never. Look how cool that is. So neat. Like the way that the light shines with it. So cool. Looks like he's got a club too. I'm not really sure. It's like a trans. It's all translucent. It's really cool. Honestly, this one might be one of my favorite ones of this set, just because. Wow, this is really cool. Maybe because purple is my favorite color. Maybe because sparkly purple, as seen on my nails, is my favorite color. But this minifigure is really, really cool. And just like the translucent, even like the afro piece is a like translucent purple. You got the translucent purple club. And like this actually is Orion. For those of you who are up to date, oh my gosh, I have it upside down. The only reason I know that is because of my constellations um, and the Orion's belt, which you can see in the sky in the fall, is supposed to tell Midwestern farmers when their the planting season is over, etc. But very cool minifigure nonetheless, and it is gorgeous. So this one actually might be my favorite one of this series, potentially. And I didn't know that until I put it together. So moving on to box number six. That might be my best box open yet. Please, please, please be. Please be the... Ah. I'm trying to find the pink baby. Now this, this here, number 12 in the series, this is the one that kind of looks like Taser Face, and I might struggle to put this one together because there are a lot of little pieces. Nope, this one does not have instructions, so wish me luck. Like so this it. is pretty cool, but I think that the face is supposed to, it's supposed to cover the face more, that little piece that goes under the chin. Um, but I'm not exactly sure how that is, but still pretty cool nonetheless. I like the dual molded arms and the leg too is like a dual mold. The one leg is <coughs> a, um, I think it's upside down. I think I have it upside down. I told you, the, all the little pieces, I need the simple ones. Anyways, that's it for me. Psych, we got it. I think that yeah see that that's it really looks cool. a lot better when he has his face on right yeah oops <laughs> time to pick two more out the bag it's time to open boxes seven and eight let's do this let's see what we're gonna get i really hope i get the astronaut with the gold helmet that would be what i would want not the astronaut with the pink baby it's the little it's like the pink uh like space shooter alien she's pretty cool i really like the color on her she's got a little skirt then I really like, I really like the helmet on her, and then she also comes with like a space pug. The space dog. But it's a space dog. Yeah, it's pretty cool. She is mostly pink and purple, and she has a little like nucleus on her arm, print on her arm. Oh wow, she's cute as hell. I really oh, like wow. the space dog. But he doesn't sit on the thing very well. Aww. I really like that her hair goes through the back of the helmet. I really like this minifig. She's got a cool looking um space shooter. We're not gonna call blaster. it. Blaster. She's got a really cool gold blaster and then the space dog's really cool. I really like the purple and pink with the gold color and then her like cerulean blue. That looks really cool. Anyway, so that's number seven. Time for number eight. Time for number eight. You're in luck. Oh, yes! I live to see another round. I think this one's just like the alien. Are those translucent pieces? Yeah, this is like a purple print translucent piece. It's pretty cool, actually. This one is kind of scary. I don't know if I like this one. She or he, it's an alien, I guess. They. It's gender neutral. They. Yeah, they have uh, like some pincers, kind of like an insect, a flying insect. And like you can see the legs aren't normal legs. They have like a little bend, like an insect. And then it has the uh, wings on the back. And... It's just giving me some weird vibes. I don't know. It just kind of freaks me out, frankly. Guess who's back again? Um, I have a gut feeling. I have a gut feeling that this one's going to have the pink baby in it. And if it doesn't, well, then I hope the next one does, because these are my last two boxes. Here we go. So this is box number nine. My hunch was wrong. This one's actually really dope, though. First of all, we've got the legs. So I'm going to put the legs down. And then we have this just absolutely cool little spacesuit. It's got top. a gold helmet, too. This thing's so cool. 
and then this, which is kind of crazy, but so at first it has this little plate piece that's going to go on the back, and then we're going to stick it on the headpiece. Is that like a jetpack? Not a jetpack, yeah, a like, like the, space jumper Yeah, like pack? an actual astronaut thing. So the astronaut only has one face, which makes sense, but it's got like little pieces that would be inside the helmet. Now I've got to put this down. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is probably one of the coolest minifigures I've ever put together. And obviously it's going to be a lot cooler to put together than the pink baby. Really cool. It's got some really cool details there on the arm pieces. It's got the jetpack on the back that has the printed piece with the space logo. Um, and also, it came with four extra pieces, but there are a lot of little pieces in this gold-plated space helmet that you can put on top. Now that... That is a cool minifigure. Take another look at that. Lego is really cool going all in on space here. Honestly, this is pretty cool. I like it. It's such a traditional theme that, like, go for it. Very cool. All right, let's do my last bag here. <laughs> I really hope that this one is the pink baby. Baby fig where I'm going to go crazy. No. Here we have the uh, gray faced alien. The so like tourist the tourist alien. alien. So that's that's fun. I'll take it. It's like a child tourist alien too because it's got like the short little legs. First of all, love this top too. Like this is so colorful. How can you not love this? It's got a little backpack too. It's a they. It's 2024. They, sorry. They alien. Look at that. That's so cool. And a little fedora to go on top. And do not forget the little camera. Now how cool is this little guy? Look super colorful it's got a really cool printed like hawaiian shirt top that says heart and earth i uh, know you can't see that but i also got the really cool little camera it's got the turquoise fedora um really cool front uh face piece this is just a cool one like put this little guy in your lego city or lego village and um he's just tourist he's just he's just touring your city He's just a visitor from a different planet. So, very cool. That will do it for me, and I will hand it back over for the last two bags. We're down to the last two boxes. What are we going to get? I really hope one of them is the pink baby, because if not, then we're screwed and we're going back to Target. The other one will be the black Martian guy, hopefully. So, without further ado, let's get into the last two here. Which one should we do first? One. Or two? It's two. Two. Pick two. We'll do number two. Without further ado, give me a drum roll, please. The Space Martian. Oh, this is cool. Look at this piece. It's like a little UFO piece, but it's got like these little like ridges in the bottom. And then it has openings on two of the sides. But not all four. I wonder if this was used for something else originally. Oh, he's got an earth on his back. That is cool. But he only has one head. I presume because the top of him is clear. Okay, I get it now. Those ridges are for the clear top of the UFO. So what's cool about this guy is that he is like space. Like the black and darkness of space with all the stars. And on the front, he's got, like, a shooting star. But on the back, he's got, like, the Earth. And then his head is, like, a UFO. So that's pretty cool. And he's just got a, like, plain green head. I don't know. It's just different. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. That was box number 11. This is what you've all been waiting for, hopefully, if you've made it to this point in the video. Pink Space Baby. So here it is. Is it going to be in here? Let's see. It's a tiny little baby, but she comes into like two different pieces. Like there's the little torso of it. I don't know if you can see the little space print on the front, but that's pretty cool. And then here's her head and her head is like connected to like a jetpack. It's like dual molded. It's pretty sweet. And it's got like the old style um, like face minifigure print. That's pretty cool. The little space doctor robot has a little power plug in the back of their head. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Kind of looks like an Iron Man piece, honestly. But she's got all like the vitals and stuff on it. It like says 37 degrees on her left arm. I'm uh, not sure off the top of my head if that uh, sounds about right in Celsius. 
or if that's something different. Yeah, I think that's a space bottle for the robot. I think the little baby just sits in the bottom of her hand. So the space robot is going to be taking care of the pink space baby. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I like it. So honestly, that's my favorite. That's a, that. I mean, I really like this. I really like this one. I think this I, one's one of my favorites. Again, everything here was all print. None of it was stickers. If you if you watched our last video, you can watch me complain about stickers where I talk about 40 stickers on our Lego store. These are really cool. I think this is worth it. We both used some Target Circle rewards from Target Circle week a couple weeks ago. So we saved $20. That was pretty good. But yeah, let's put all of them together and show them off. Okay, so that is all 12 of the minifigures in this series. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll have to let us know what your favorite is in the comments below. Thank you.